Who the hell are you? Hmm. Okay. So if we had if we had a higher strength here, we could pretty much intimidate him, I guess. Uh, but we do not. So I imagine there's going to be a bunch of dialogue options like that. Where if you have the requisite skills or attributes, you can have a special option. Are you the detective on this case? I was hired by Sam Watts to assist you in finding his killer. The dreck you are. If you get anywhere near my investigation, it will be you on the slab, dwarf. Looks back at the dwarf. Oh, the other dwarf. <laughs> Dresden, get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Dresden looks amused. Do you always make friends that easily? I'm great at dinner parties, too. He cocks his head to one side. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? Job's a job. This one pays better than most. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He'd convict his own mother if it meant another 10 new yen a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dresden pauses, considering. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? Alright. I think we can ask all these questions. Who's who's paying to hold his leash? I don't know. Someone with some major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career. And Wallet. What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? Official report is that she committed suicide about a year ago. Aren't you the official in that sentence? My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say it wasn't suicide, but there was unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. What are organs worth these days? A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of new yen, but individual organs? Not worth as much anymore, what with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days. Organ grinders only deals only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky, though. They don't care where the bodies come from, either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks up at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around these body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful. Um, okay then, I'll go do that. Alright. All right, he just wants me to steal his shit. All right, I'm I'm okay with that. Cold storage drawers labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. All right, open it up. Cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen, the body seems to be in very good condition. Whoa, wheezy there. In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. I told John to wake me up at six in the morning. Is it six yet? Doesn't feel like six yet. Uh, sorry. Didn't expect you to be so alive. Yeah. Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. Not the first person he's pulled this one on. 
chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, what's your story? The latest Ripper victim. You know him? Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in trouble over something or other, though. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John! Is this guy cool? Yeah, he's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. Thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Alright then. The name's Jake. And you are? Call me Mang Mang. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the Seamstress's Union that night. Tripped out and rowdy. I've been laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Mrs. Kubota asked me to throw Sam out, so I did. But on the, out in the alley, some gangers thought got the jump on me. He winces. Damn. Maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, can you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are dirty anyway. What's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching sound as Dresden continues his work. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat core bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off of my head. Jake smiles, and you get the impression that didn't work out so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him, until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. You've done this before. It's a long story. I end up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, Jake Armitage is the main playable character in the original Shadowrun game for the SNES and the Genesis. Um, and so, I only played the SNES version, but at the start of that game, as Jake, you wake up in the morgue and you're not sure how you got there. And so, this is just a reference to all that. It's funny that he's in here. Yeah, Jake's a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you get a free night's stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union. Missing liver and all. Tell you what, you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. Their leader's got the whole gang searching the barons for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets alone at night. Trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. Alright, Jake, count me in. Great. I've been hiding out here ever since that run-in with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers, but this stretch of the Barrens is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it to this morgue in one piece without packing some heat. Yells over his shoulder. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So, you need a weapon? I'm good with a shotgun. Like the subtle approach, eh? Alright, try this cannon out. And we got a street sweeper. So, ready for an evening out on the town? Uh... Just a minute. Tell me some more about these gangers first. Well, they're one of the nastier gangs in town. Their symbol's a flaming jack-o'-lantern, but you wouldn't like their version of trick-or-treating very much. Around here, they're led by a troll named John Paul. He's got all the Halloweeners and the Barons looking for me. We take him out, maybe I can breathe a bit easier. If you're buying... Hey, I already provided the party favors. Alright. Do I have to... Okay, he's following me. Alright, 
let's we're, we're, we're going with Jake Armitage I guess we're gonna go kill some some gangers not too shabby head out into the Barrens yes and we have a shotgun now Run in the Seattle sprawl, and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. Doesn't matter your business, the Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, add a dash of tourist trap, and you've got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales with an expression of wry contentment. Stench and grime tell him he's home. <laughs> That's Seattle for you. My stash is just around the corner in the alley. Alright. I assume I automatically equip my shoddy. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Oh yeah? Oh, I can't talk to her? Come on. Hidden in the garbage strewn alleys, high tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that is a perfect match for your skills. You take the gear. Uh oh. Uh oh, them gangers. Oh, he's gonna try and bum rush me? Oh, club over the head. Oh! Am I dead? I died. What? Are you kidding? I didn't get the chance to do anything. So, if you just make your character wrong, you die. <laughs> no way. That That's not going to repeat itself. That, that was just a horrible set of unfortunate luck. That, that's all that was. There's no way that's going to happen twice. That would be insane. Okay. I was about to say. All right. We got our shotgun. I can kneecap this guy, but I don't think I need to. Boom! 2.0 crit. One shot. One kill. Oh. Nope, not quite. He's throwing a grenade. Come on. Ah, oh, you suck. Smoke him. Nope. Oh. I have to reload. Can I go punch him? I <laughs> crit too. <laughs> there we go. So, welcome to the Barrens. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Same dreck in every city these days. True, I've been around, but Seattle's still a runner's paradise as far as I'm concerned. Now that you've got some gear, let's go deal with these Halloweeners. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> 